Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. It'll be the part four and hopefully the final sneak peek for the upcoming Haiti summer update. And that is going to be the new land expansion and new decorations. So yes, we are going to be having new land and a lot of land in the upcoming update. Now talking about the land expansion, land is probably the most important thing in the game. It's a really important feature that unlocks at level 22 and it helps people to expand their farm to unlock a lot of free land so they can, you know, start putting up a lot of things. They can start managing their farm properly because we have so many things. We've got a lot of machines. We have a lot of animals. Then we have a lot of trees and bushes. We've got our fields and other so many things. Um, having a lot of land is always reliable and it's always very helpful. But yes, if you are a level player, you probably will not have all the land open quickly, but I would recommend you that start focusing on your land as soon as possible. So in the upcoming update, we're going to be having two kinds of lands. One of the land pieces that we're going to be having is going to be right here at this place, um, which is our main farmland. And the second land that's coming is going to be across the road at this place. And this land is going to cost you expansion permits like you guys can see right here. Um, expansion permits and other land materials as well. So let's just have a look at the upcoming land in more detail. This is the upcoming land in the Haiti. And if you count it, that is almost 13 plots of new land that's coming in the new update. And basically the new land starts from right here, where you guys can see this car. This car is not a decoration. I've just put it there to indicate the new land. So that's a lot of pieces of land. You can see it's just like the normal land. You're not going to be needing any expansion permits to unlock this place. It's just having a lot of trees and a lot of rocks as usual. So make sure when you unlock your land, don't cut these trees because I'm not going to. They look really, really cool. And the second land that we're going to be having across the road is the expansion permit land. And that's going to be 17 plots of land. And this uh, piece of land has a lot of decorations inside of, which you guys can see right here that I'll be talking later in the moment. Now, expansion permits are really challenging to get. They're not that simple. So I personally think that I'm kind of nervous, but I'm kind of happy too because I do like land, but I'm just... The, see, the thing is, I don't get a lot of expansion permits in the game. If you don't spend a lot of diamonds, or if you don't play your game a lot, or like you're busy, you just cannot open this land faster. So I'm not sure how many years it's going to take me, but we shall see. So yeah, this is the new land. Um, It's the 17 plots of land in total, and there are some really cool decorations inside. Before I talk about the decoration, let's see how many expansion materials you need to open your normal upcoming land. I don't know about how many expansion materials each individual plot is going to be requiring, but in total, you're going to be needing 448 of each expansion tool to unlock your upcoming normal land, which I think is a lot. And for the permit land, you're going to be needing in total 913 of each land tool and 310 expansion permits. That's a lot of expansion permits. So guys, please start collecting more expansion permits. Okay, now with the permit land, we're going to be having five new decorations, but we're only going to get them once we unlock the new land, which requires permits. So the first decoration is the Sunflower Tower. Looks really beautiful. Reminds me of the spring. You can see the tower. Kind of a stool, there's like a little bucket of water and flowers inside, so it's really, really pretty. The next decoration is a luggage card. It's really beautiful. You can see those wheels, those roses, and on the top there's milk and a lot of boxes. So maybe some people are going to visit my farm right now. The next decoration is called as the Checkers Game, which is sort of a mat, and there are a lot of different things. There are different books, pillows. Um, there's like a chess game going on, so maybe some people are enjoying picnic around my farm. The next are the Spanish flowers. Very beautiful, very aesthetic, and very colorful. Final decoration that will come with the permanent land is the butterfly statue, and indeed this is my most favorite decoration. It looks so good. It looks like the normal ditches that we have at our farm, but there's like a little golden butterfly, so it's really, really cool. Okay, guys, that's not all. There's another decoration that's coming, which I think is really, really cool. And that is the Railway Track Pots for your farm. These decorations are only going to be available in the Wheel of Fortune. And they're not really available to purchase within the game right now. But maybe in the future, they will. 
I really hope that they add this in the game because they're really cool. So you can see it's like a really big track and there are different signs. There's even a lizard. So this is how your railway tracks look and I think they look so, so cool and I can't wait to win them in the game. Alright guys, that was all about the sneak peek number four, new land and new decorations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Haiti videos coming. Stay tuned for the update. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. 